This is a Lamley Showcase. Whenever there is a new mix of basics from Hot Wheels, I like to give it the whole kit and caboodle, right? We start with the rapid unboxing. Then I actually do a live unboxing international case. I'll do a U.S. case unboxing. We've done all three of those with the 2020 H case. Now it is time to do the true nitty gritty and open these models up and take a look. This is the highlight video. These models were sent to me by our friends at Wheel Collectors. There's their new logo. Finally got that card from them. There's some details there. You can follow them in all of these different ways. You can buy these models from them, provided they're not sold out. This super treasure hunt came from Mattel. They like to send those to me so I can show them to you, give you the proper look of these super treasure hunts. And we will finish off this video by opening up a super that I think may be one of the best. Uh, in a, well, there's been a lot of good ones, but one of the best, at least for me. All right, let's get right to it. I've got them, uh, some of the uh, older castings. I've got the new castings, and I've got the regular treasure hunt, super treasure hunt, all that kind of stuff. We should just do it right now. We'll start with the models that I thought were the highlights. That's uh, I usually pick out the models that I like or I think you'll like. A lot of emphasis on new stuff and treasure hunts and all that, but let's get right to it. We start with the 68 Chevy Nova. This is a recolor. Uh, in red of the camouflage version and then there's been a Zamac version which I have not gotten my hands on yet uh, together with the Bugatti and the Porsche. I'll wait uh, until I uh, go back into stores in the future uh, to find those but uh, this is the red recolor. Red camo recolor looks really cool on the 68 Chevy Nova. Definitely wanted to think that one or wanted to showcase that one. Next one, I don't really have any order to these, I don't think, but one of the things about, I'll say this about the H case, it's loaded. There's so many good things, good wagons, good trucks, good supers we've talked about. And this teal McLaren P1 is very, very cool. They've done a lot of these plain color. I have not collected this casting through and through. I've got a few versions of it. Um, I think the white one is one I like the best, but this teal color is nice. I'm glad that they're doing... They're, they're just still doing just different colors, but it's keeping them uh, keeping them plain. Just the, the front and the rear tampos. And uh, this one, I think, looks really good in teal. It makes me want to go back and get all of the plain P1 McLarens. That might be uh, hard for me to do at this point. Maybe I'll look back in my, uh, my boxes of extras. Who knows? All right. I said there's a lot of good pickups highlighted by the Cyclone, but uh, let's make sure that these other trucks get their proper due. This is the 2019 Chevy Silverado Trail Boss LT. In white, Belltech Bell Tech Deco, which looks nice. I like that it's very plain, just in the black and white stripes with the off-road wheels. Chevrolet embossed in the back. I like the classic trucks better than the newer trucks, but uh, this is a really nice casting. There's no doubt about that. Um, those of you who like the newer trucks, that, the Tundra, they've done a few Fords. They've done a lot of good, big, new castings that falls in that. But I think this one's even better. The first time the 1970 Dodge Power Wagon has made its way to the basic range. This one was a premium stalwart, right? It started in Garage. Then went to, um, I think we've seen it as a convention model a couple of times in pink. Um, I've showcased this truck uh, by itself in the past. Then it went to a couple of the truck lines, and they finally gave it a plastic base to make it affordable for the basic range. Now, here's a little sneak peek for you guys. Remember, it is convention week, and uh, I have the convention models to showcase with you. Look at this combination. There's your basic in that really cool light blue. Look at the convention model, which I'll be showcasing tomorrow. Be opening that up, but there's a little tease for you. Uh, very nice companion models, right? Anyway, we'll get to that later. So that uh, that is the Dodge Power Wagon now with the plastic base, which I'm fine with because they still have the metal base that can still go into premium. Obviously, it's in the convention model, but they have this basic version, which allows for uh, for it to be in the basic range as well, so they can play around with that a little bit. Very, very happy with that model in the basic range. All right, that's one I collect entirely. Back to the cool sports cars. Like I said, this goes back and forth with cool stuff. This is the Jaguar XJ220. What is this? I feel like this is a recolor. I think I've gotten the last year's and this year's mesh, uh, mesh together, but I believe this is a recolor in a very, very cool paint. Um, it's not Spectraflame, but it's a real shiny, cool, I don't know what you'd call that dark teal color. 
green color for the Jag, and I think that looks really good with the lace wheels and uh, had to be a highlight for me. I like the deco on it a lot. It's kind of cool that they've brought castings like that back. They kind of, they'll kind of throw you that little curveball occasionally. That casting's been around for a long time. This is one I, I am a completist on as well, the Honda S2000. When I first saw pictures of it, I thought it might be Moon Eyes, but it's actually Gretty. And it looks great with the disc wheels. I mentioned how this thing shows up everywhere. It's been in almost every line. It's, you know, from convention now to RLC last year, Super Treasure Hunt, Basic Range, Fast and Furious. I mean, it has been everywhere. The only thing it hasn't been is a Zamek, which is interesting. And uh, it's been a Kmart car once or twice already, too. So maybe we'll see that one of these days as a Zamac. Nonetheless, keep adding, and I'll put them in the collection, the Honda S2000. All right, this is one of my favorites of the mix. I mentioned this when I did the unboxing. The Porsche Panamera Turbo SE Hybrid Sport Turismo. Long title, great model. And uh, I loved, I, I still love the first version that Lindsay designed this, um, Lindsay Lee, and I think the first version in that gray is still my favorite. I really like the white one, but I think they really did some cool stuff with this blue color with the blue rims. And uh, I'm way into this. Uh, completest on this casting so far. Just keep it, keep it in these plain colors. And uh, I mean, you could call this, this is like, um, I guess you could call this a wagon, right? So add that to the next one, add it to the Volvo. I mean, we've got, uh, got some good wagons going with this Porsche Panamera. And speaking of wagons, Datsun Bluebird Wagon 510 Momo Deco. There it is. This is a continuation. Now, if you look right here, you got JNC's Japanese nostalgic car. I actually showed you they were on the uh, Matchbox Skyline from uh, Superfast that I showed yesterday. Momo Deco Kaido House. That's uh, Junimai's brand. He obviously designed the wagon. And this is a continuation of the Momo 510 from last year. So we saw the Momo 510 sedan. Right? Coupe. Um, the modified casting where it now has the uh, grill part of the uh, body here. So we had it in red and then we had this special Kmart release in black, recolored in black. And now that theme pans over into the wagon, which I think is fantastic. They've continued. It's a great set to have all three of these models in Momo Deco. And this wagon, that's a great one. It might be time to do another wagon update. Because we've gotten a few, right? And I've got it. You know what? Maybe I'll do a wagon update. You guys tell me in the comments. Um, should I do a wagon update where I'll show all of the Datsun 510 wagons and then I will open this one and add to it because it's the uh, Moon Eyes Yokohama convention model. Um, maybe I'll do that. If, that's, if that, that might be the thing to do now that we have this one out is to do that entire, uh, in, that entire video. Just to go run through the all of the 510 wagons. Cool? Cool. Let me know if you want me to do that in the comments. Wagon theme continues. So this is the recolor. We're now into the new models, but this is a recolor of a new model. Volvo 850 Estate. There's your first version in a deco that you're used to. I have no idea if this recolor is uh, just a Hot Wheels color combination that they want to do on this deco. Um, but that one we've seen in uh, on the Racing 850 Estate. This deco, so I have no idea if it's if that's one that uh, you guys can tell me if this one, but I like the color combination anyway. I like that they've gone with the 10 spokes, 10 spoke uh, wheels in the back, like embossed in the back, like the spare. And I think this one looks really cool with the trim it's got, I like the way they've incorporated the interior into or like that uh, middle stripe into the interior. Rio Asada designed this one, it's a near perfect casting in terms of. Um, all the details. I've seen a ton of you customizing it, which is really cool. You guys have been moving it to kind of a stock version or a little bit lower, like at least street version. And I think it's really cool what a lot of you customizers have done. Keep it up. All right. Party wagon. I guess it's another wagon, right? Datsun 510, Panamera, Volvo. Now this one, except it's the Ninja Turtles. This one is, uh, I don't know, I never watched Ninja Turtles as a, as a kid, but I know there's a lot of excitement about this one, so I'm showing it to you. There's no doubt I should be showing this one um, because it is one of the highlights of the H case, and a lot of you dig 
the Mutant Ninja Turtles and you dig this casting. I don't know what else to say about it other than it's a Ninja Turtle car. And it's a party wagon, so I'm sure there's a lot of parties in there. All right, now, and these are, obviously, we're in the new models now that haven't been recolored. Let's go to the 2019 Corvette ZR1 convertible in orange. This is a new casting. Not to be confused with some of the others. I actually went back to look at some of the other uh, convertible Corvettes. I have, as Hot Wheels releases Corvettes, they usually release the first ones in some sort of stock color and stock style. Those I add to my collection. Any of the subsequent versions, I don't. But this is the, uh, this was released 2013. It's the 2014 Corvette Stingray. So that was a convertible, right? I think this is, this might have been the casting that ended up being the Barbie car. What was it last year and the year before that? So there was that one, the 2014 Stingray. Then the other convertible, which is very close to, uh, to the ZR1, is this one, which is the Z06, right? C7Z06. I think this was the first color in blue. And if you look, it looks very similar, but there is some differences because this is the ZR1. So the most distinct difference is in the grills. You notice the grills are different. And then um, the way the engines and engine intakes are they're done differently. I'm trying to keep these in the light so you can see them. So there's some subtle differences in the sides. You can see there are some differences. Silhouette's essentially the same. And the rear, some similarities, some differences. So it seems like Hot Wheels every couple years is going to do a new Corvette casting. We have to think the C8 is just around the corner. This may be the last of the C7s, but it looks really, really good. Love the color. Love the details. Front grille is really mean. I am still one that likes the C7 and before better than the C8. I'm I'm ha I'm struggling with the C8 right now. Um, I'm glad that these companies are doing the castings of it, and I'll be collecting some of them because I like having a line of Corvettes, but still struggling with the design of the C8. A uh, mid-engine's fine, but I don't think it looks that good. I reserve the right to change my mind, and I probably will, but right now I'm still struggling with it. You guys can convince me otherwise. All right, this is the highlight of the new models in my opinion for this case. It's the 91 GMC Cyclone. Really great choice. I believe Brendan Viteski was behind this one. I could be told told differently. He was, he was the one who was introducing it when they showed the casting. Um, they've been having some fun again with like the 90s era's car, era cars are really, really coming into play now and doing this um, limited sport truck is just a great decision and it's beautiful in black i know we're getting more versions of this this one goes in the collection for sure for me and i, I again i maybe it goes premium to look good but this version looks perfect and i actually like the saw blade wheels on this one works for me i i'd love to see some premium real riders on it in the black version but um i'm okay with that one i think for a basic model it looks great with those saw blades so that is the highlight from the new models. Those are all the new models. Let's get to the treasure hunts. We've got Super, we've got its regular counterpart, and we have the regular treasure hunts. So here, let's put it like this. And let's get right to it. So we'll start with the regular treasure hunt. It is the 2013 Hot Wheels Chevy Camaro Special Edition. When did this one come out? I, this, this is, they've done a couple of special editions. This one is the older of the two, I believe. I'd have to look at the castings. I believe I'm in my collection, but uh, this one is the regular treasure hunt. I, sign is there. You can see the words there. I guess we'll just open it up and you can see. There, that makes it easier. Congratulations. We're celebrating 25 years of treasure hunts and you just found one. Yay. There it is. Very, very cool Camaro. Anytime they're doing a licensed model as a regular treasure hunt, I still say I don't I don't mind what they, they can do, anything they want for a regular treasure hunt. I think those are main, mainly for kind of keep us us more serious collectors, like maybe grab one, leave the others, and let uh, let that future collector, that kid who gets it just randomly off the peg, just thinks it's a cool card, opens it up and sees that little note like, hey, you got, you found something special. 
that to me would be an instant hook um, for a future collector. So let's uh, let's put that Camaro right here and let's talk about these two. It is the 84 Audi Sport Quattro, and if I were just showing this, I would be singing its praises. This is fantastic. I invite you to go to Petrolicious, either on YouTube or just uh, Google it, and uh, do Petrolicious Audi or Audi Quattro, and there is an, a, a replica of this exact car. The Super is actually even closer because of the wheels, but... Um, street version of this car, and they, they profile the driver and everything else, and... I have to think that that was an inspiration for this plain red version. I loved last year's version. And there actually is, uh, I'll give you a little sneak peek right now, of the car culture version, premium version that is coming um, in car culture, which I got a picture of. I'll, do, I'll be covering that more in the future. Um, but uh, casting is great. I like it how, how it has the short wheelbase. Dimitri designed this one. Dima is what he goes by. And I think he did such a fantastic job. And I'd be like, this is a near perfect model in red. But the Super Treasure Hunt makes it even more fun. Card art's very similar. Do you notice that? Like, it's really hard to tell, but you're not going to know. If you're looking, if you see him on the pegs, I think it's pretty easy to know which one's a super or not. You're not going to judge it based on the card art. The only difference, really, it seems like the shade is the same. It might be slightly darker on the super. Obviously, the wheels are the big difference. Um, but if you're looking at them this way, sticking up at you, if you're opening the case, or looking at them on the pegs that way, you'll know. You'll know. But check this thing out. Spectre Flame Red. The only difference is it has the TH logo on the back tail, tail light. And then it has the front grille all detailed. I love the Spectre Flame Red. It's a nice bright red compared to the older Spectre Flame Red that they've used, but they did change Spectre Flame last year, I believe, right? So, um, and so it's a brighter red, and this really stands out. And uh, I was thinking of doing it in this video, but we're already long, long into it, so I'm not going to, but uh, this is one of these, I'd, I'd call them just the plain supers. I don't know what else to call them, but it's those that just have front and rear tampos and uh, there's a few of them, and I'll do a video on them. But yeah, there's a few supers that are just front deco, rear deco, and Spectre Flame with real riders, which I think are awesome. Let's uh, let's open this up. There's your special note. Found one. And check this beauty out. So I'm looking at it for the first time just like you are. That red is sharp. Those wheels are perfect. Because they're actually, I've seen obviously with that Petrolicious video, you look. It's got those, uh, it's got those wheels on it. I have to think that uh, a certain episode of Petrolicious is what inspired this fantastic super treasure hunt. Front grille, rear Oh man, this is good. This is really, really good. All right, there you go. That is the H case. Uh, don't know when it's going to be out. It is not in stores now. You can buy these through hobby dealers. Um, I keep saying it. I don't know what impact COVID-19 has on distribution. To be perfectly honest, the impact it does have is we should all stay home no matter what's hitting the stores. And... Um, all of this will be available when all of this is said and done. Uh, so buy these uh, buy these from uh, hobby dealers, and that's a great way to support small businesses. Most stores that are carrying this stuff, uh, they're not worried about their Hot Wheels sales. They're getting plenty from grocery sales. So if you want these, buy them from wheel collectors or other hobby dealers. My dog totally agrees. You guys tell me what you think of this mix. Tell me what you think of that Super Treasure Hunt. I think it's a great mix. We'll see ya. Bye.